We have a big treat on today's review. We are at a very special venue. Okay, I had to do it. All right, we're in a special venue. We're in the new Hyundai venue in a spectacular venue. We are in New Orleans. All right, enough of the venue stuff because I'm getting confused. This is their newest entry into the subcompact SUV class and it bookends all of their other SUVs. You have the top size Palisade, then you have the Santa Fe, you have the Tucson, you have the Kona, and now you have the Venue. So what do we know about the venue and why is it needed? Well, when Hyundai came out with the Kona, that vehicle was supposed to kind of attract the younger buyer. And guess what? It did, but everyone else bought it as well. And why not? It's been selling like hotcakes. The Hyundai Accent is very popular for younger buyers as well. But since SUVs have really come onto the stage, uh, the Accent sales have been dropping, so they needed something to fill that gap for the younger generation. Hyundai says that 40% of buyers in this class will be millennials. So they are catering this to that demographic. So what are millennials looking at? I am not a millennial, I wish I was, but I kind of feel young at heart. They're looking for new, which this is, different, well, check it out. You can get dual tone paint jobs. It really has a funky little look. It stands out, it's modern, it's iconic. It's very useful, we'll get to that in a second. And most importantly, it has to be affordable for that younger buyer. What do you think it looks? I think it looks pretty good. That front end has that signature Hyundai grille. Everything is nicely sculpted. You have optional LED headlamps, standard are 15 inch wheels, but you can go up to 17 inch wheels on the higher trim level. Then you see the extended wheel arches and the cladding that connects to that. And that visually says it's rugged. So we're here in New Orleans and we are gonna do a little bit of a, not a scavenger hunt, but we're gonna play tourists. And we're gonna see a few tourist attractions. The first stop is we're going to check out a cemetery. Yeah. This new venue's platform has the most super high tensile strength steel in any other Hyundai even. So it's very, very stiff. You can really feel that suspension working and it works very well because of that stiffness. On the inside, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And you have to remember, this is a entry level subcompact SUV. So you get in here, you have a, a very nice wrapped steering wheel. There's a lot of small details like the contrast stitching on the steering wheel, on the seats, the piping. Uh, you have an eight inch infotainment screen that has standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And they realize that you need to have those things for millennials because, hey, we're all connected nowadays and we like to stay connected, so you have no problem there. That eight inch is class leading as well. You have standard heated seats and almost standard heated steering wheel. Why do I say almost? Because other than the base model, every model, up from that does get the heated steering wheel for Canada. I'm not sure about other markets. So yeah, that's 90% of the projected buyers will have that option for them. You have two USB connectors in the front. One thing that I wish that it did have, it has an auto up and down window for the driver's side, but not for the passengers. You have to actually hold those. Our next stop, we're hunting for Banksy's Nola Girl, uh, his graffiti that was painted quite a while ago after the hurricanes of Katrina. Okay, 
this is the first time I've actually sat in the back. And I have to be honest, I'm impressed. I didn't expect there to be this much room. The seat is set for myself. I was just sitting in the passenger seat up front. I'm 5'10 and a half and I have knee room. There is uh, probably about six inches of height for your feet to slip under. And I have ample headroom. Zero issue at all for headroom. And I'm really surprised at that. Maybe it's the angle and the slope of the seat. But uh, yeah, there is a small hump in the middle. So this does have three seat belts. It would be tight for three in the back, but two totally doable. Uh, I'd say it would be fairly comfortable. Now for room, you open up that back tailgate and you can see how much room there is. But if you take the floor and you lift it up, first of all, that's where your spare tire is, but you can actually slip that floor down lower. So it gives you a deeper storage area and that cargo cover also, if you need to take that off, sometimes you need to carry some taller items. So you take it out, put it in your garage and you forget about it. Or, you know, it's like it gets lost. Well, no need for that. You take that off and it slides right flush with the back of these rear seats. That's pretty smart. It's a small little thing, but I'm impressed. Of course, if you need my room, you can fold the rear seats down. They go almost flat and you have lots of room for a subcompact car. I've heard from so many people that the best barbecue in town has got to be Central City Barbecue and that's where we're headed next. that was some spectacular barbecue i do highly recommend that you you check that place out so what's powering this it's a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine it puts out 121 horsepower yes 121 horsepower and 113 pound feet of torque sure that doesn't sound like a lot but you have to realize this is a small vehicle it doesn't need a lot of power. And what this vehicle is perfect for, it's perfect for cities like New Orleans here. We are going down some really small streets. Some, you know, there's a lot of traffic. There's delivery trucks that seem like they just stop in the middle of the road wherever they want. And uh, you need something small to get around and maneuver them. And this is the perfect vehicle for it. This is the perfect venue for this venue. Ooh, big pothole. Let's hit it. Okay, not bad. The suspension is quite stiff on it. First of all, this has a short wheelbase and it has that real strong structure, but it's very, very nimble. It handles well. I love all these tiny little restaurants and, and things all over New Orleans. The stores, they carry everything. What a place. The venue is available with two transmission options. The first is a six-speed manual. Yes, you can still get a manual in some vehicles and that is a big surprise and it's a welcome uh, surprise for a lot of people as well. If you want to pay about $1,300 more, you can get their CVT or their IVT, their Intelligent Variable Transmission. And you know what? It's so good that I forgot that I was driving a variable transmission. It is that good. So it uses a chain and pulley system. So it has a very, very positive engagement. It doesn't have that real rubber band effect. Okay, you can't come to New Orleans and not experience a, a fresh beignet from Cafe Du Monde. for all the start and stopping that we're doing uh, on this review, but we are in New Orleans and it's busy. It's the middle of the day. So let's talk about the Hyundai Smart Sense, standard on all venues. So what does that give you? Forward collision 
uh, warning, you have rear cross traffic alert, you have lane keeping assist, blind spot warning, you get all of this and it's all standard in this small entry level package. And that is really impressive. Seriously, just a few years ago, you would be paying huge money to include these options as a part of a, a, a package for luxury vehicles and now you're getting it in an entry level vehicle. There are drive modes on the venue. We can switch from uh, sport, normal, and there's even a snow mode. However, there is no all wheel drive, but if you are not driving in too deep of snow, um, you put it in snow mode and it will do a great job of moving you and getting you out of situations. And it uses a torque vectoring system. That torque vectoring system can also work even if you're not uh, in snow as well. Okay, we are now in the trend line with the urban trim. What does that mean? It gets you uh, the two-tone paint, which I think looks really, really cool. But also, just to note, when you get the trend, if it's not the Ultimate, which is the top model, in the back, for the brakes, you get drum brakes on this model, opposed to disc brakes on the Ultimate. Also on the Ultimate, you get automatic climate control. This one does not have the auto climate control, but it does come with the proximity key with push button start. And that is pretty well standard, just like the heated steering wheel on everything above the base model. Our next stop is to see a tree. Not any tree, this tree is called the Tree of Life, is named after the very first mayor of New Orleans. Excuse my French, but I think it's pronounced Jean Etienne de Bore. If that's the right way to pronounce it, or if I butchered it, leave a comment below if you know uh, how to really say that. Anyways, no one even knows how old this tree is. Uh, one to 500 years old. So it's old, it's big, and we're gonna go see it. So if you're interested in a venue, they are available right now at the dealerships. They start at about 18,000 for a uh, base model and go all the way up to $24,000 uh, for the Ultimate, which has all the bells and whistles. And those are in Canadian dollars, by the way. All right, we finally made it to Bourbon Street. No New Orleans visit would be complete without visiting this iconic street. It is daytime. Yes, might venture out uh, at nighttime. I'm not sure, it's pretty uh, vibrant. Uh, anyways, yeah, so this vehicle is designed and is targeted toward younger people, millennials. It would be the perfect vehicle, let's say, if you had uh, a kid going to university, just moving out for the first time, you want them to have something safe. This has nine airbags. It has that Hyundai Smart Sense, that suite of safety technology. It's also quite affordable and unique looking, which is quite important nowadays to the younger generation. They want something unique and different, and this would be it. But don't sell this vehicle short. Even though it's marketed for the younger people, I can see this uh, being a perfect vehicle for a lot of people, like even my mom. She is 80 years old, she, uh, she loves her Fiat 500. She would love a vehicle like this. It's funky, it's useful, and yeah, this could have the same effect kind of like the Kona, where it was made for young people, but the masses just wanted it. Anyways, from Bourbon Street, thanks for watching another Everyday Reviews, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Ciao. Oh, 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 oh,